Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome back, of course, to another video. In today's video, we are going to be predicting the Champions League. Now, the round of 16 quarterfinal draw, I guess you would say, happened earlier this weekend, the last week, and we got the results for you here. So obviously, we're going to break them down, talk about it, and of course, talk about the Champions League in today's video. Two videos today. Really quickly, you're getting another March Madness bracket predictions once I'm done with this video, editing and recording this video. As soon as that one's up and uploaded, you guys are going to be getting a March Madness, my predictions, my full predictions video, not analytical, just me talking about the games and who I think is going to win. But of course, you guys are to the channel. Obviously, you know what to do. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, tomorrow, not sure what you guys are going to get yet. We may do another bracket just to do another bracket reveal. Um, I'm not sure about Thursday. We're doing Ultimate Team. Friday, we're going to talk about some, obviously, play some franchise to talk about NFL free agency. We, we may recap the week of free agency in tomorrow's video, so that's what we may do for tomorrow. But first, of course, you guys are new to the channel, obviously, drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on. Really quickly, announcement before we head into today's video. I am connecting with the people at Team War Ready. If you guys do not know who Team War Ready is, they are the men's basketball tournament for the Auburn alumni, the basketball tournament. The basketball tournament is a $1 million tournament that obviously raises money, I believe, for something in the summer. It's the summertime, and teams all across the country play it. There's like a Michigan alumni team. There's like an Ohio State basketball alumni team. There are some really good alumni team in there, and Auburn is one of those. So I'm connecting with the people at Team War Ready. I'm going to do a full breakdown video, breaking down the roster once that roster gets revealed to us. I'm going to be connecting with a couple of the players. We may have Malik Dunbar involved from the 2019 Final Four team. We may have, of course, Mal Samir Dowdy from the Final Four team as well. And then, fingers crossed, they hook me up with Bryce Brown and Jared Harper. That would be unbelievable. But for now, obviously, that is the big announcement that I had for you guys. I planned on it. I talked to the guys already today and yesterday, so we're planning on that. The roster should be coming at the end of June, and they're going to hook me up towards the middle of June and July. Maybe even get to go watch them play in Lexington, Kentucky. They just announced that too, by the way. So keep an eye on those update videos for you guys. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Let's go ahead and hop right into our NCAA March Madness, or I guess you would say Champions League predictions before hopping into March Madness. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and hop right in to these quarterfinal matchups. Now, the first matchup is Atletico Madrid taking on Borza Dormout. As you guys can already tell, I've got Borza Dormout here in this first quarterfinal matchup. I think they're the better team in this one. I think that Atletico Madrid will not be able to keep up with the power firepower that Borza Dormout has. They can score really well. Obviously, making it to the quarterfinals in and of itself is a really talented and really hard thing to do in the Champions League, but they also play really well within their league. So that is why I'm going with Borza Dormout here to get the win against Atletico Madrid in these two legs games. I just think they're the better team, have a more firepower offense. Let me know in the comments down below if that's not true, and I may be completely wrong on that one. But I've got Borza going to the semifinal. Christian Pulisic's old team going to the semifinals. Now, moving on to the next game. That is P PSG taking on Barcelona. Guys, i got to give this one to PSG here. I think PSG has a chance to win it all. I really do. Their draw that they got for their sides of the bracket are really good for them. Obviously, they got to get through Barcelona, who's been hot recently as well. But, again, PSG is really, really good. They can score. Obviously, every year, they usually make a run around this time to go into the Champions League final. So that is why I've got PSG winning this game. Again, they they have an amazing draw. They can score. They can play great defense. I believe their goalkeeper are one of the best goalkeepers in left in the Champions League, if I'm not mistaken on that one. So with that being said, I'm going PSG here over Barca. I just think Barca, with the losses that they have had in recent years, they've obviously still been trying to keep up, as we guys can see. I just don't think they'll have the defense to stop that PSG offense from scoring. Their transition, I guess you would say, kind of using basketball terms here, but their transition offense that they have in PSG, when they're in stride, they can score goals, and they can win this game and win this leg, two-game leg, 
for sure. I think that PSG moves on to the Saint round, second round semifinals, setting up a PSG doormount matchup. Now, moving on to the bottom half of the semifinal. This is where it gets kind of tough. It's Arsenal and Bayern. I'm going Arsenal here. Arsenal has been one of the hottest teams in Premier League all year long. They've been really good. These last few years, I don't know what kicked into them, but last year they were in the title race. This year they're still in the title race. I believe they're number one in the Premier League right now. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that one. But I've got to give the edge to Arsenal. Again, firepower offensively beats, beats it every time, especially against a team like Bayern, who really no one has most of the time doesn't know about if you're a big soccer fan out there. But I have Bayern or Arsenal winning this game. I think they should be a landslide for this. I think that they're going to walk into this and go into it with flawless. They should beat Bayern by a lot. So give me Arsenal here to move on to the semifinal game. Now, the next one is really, really hard. I don't understand why they gave Man City such a good draw. But I think it's because last year we had a very easy draw. Now, with that being said, it's Real Madrid and Man City. I'm still going with my boys here and taking Man City. I don't know what it is. I just have a feeling that they could get a treble. Now, I don't think it will be in the Champions League, and I'll talk about that coming up, but I think that they can definitely win a couple of those other trophies in the EPL. Now, with that being said, to beat Real Madrid, you got to have Holland on point. you got to have Holland stepping up on defense, coming, obviously, getting ready to shoot. you got to have everyone healthy. We've seen injuries be a major part in this Man City team and what they've been able to do offensively. De Bruyne's back. We should be good to go. But again, could be wrong. Real Madrid can pull something and of course they could upset us and that would be historic for them. But I've got to give the edge overall here to Man City in this Real Madrid game. I think it's going to be 0-0 zero to zero in both legs. If not, it will be 1-1 one to one or 2-2 two to two or something like that. And they'll have to go into penalty kicks in the second leg. But I think it's going to be a close one and Man City wins it in penalties. Now, the second semifinal match, or the first semifinal matchup is, of course, PSG and Dormout, if I have these right. I'm going PSG here in this one. Again, they're the more better team. Dormout kind of got on a run there towards the end of the Champions League matchups where the, the group stage, but I've got to go PSG to put it into it. I really like PSG. On to the next game, of course, is going to be the final in Man City and PSG. This is going to be a great final to watch. It's going to be a very high scoring final, in my opinion. I think Man City's going to take the dub here 2-1, to one, but it's going to be a great final. Both teams are going to score offensively. There's going to be some great defense played in this game. There are going to be some questionable calls in this game as well. We've all seen what the refs like to do with PSG and Man City, but I've got to go with my boys here and go with Man City as the Champions League champions. Okay, of course, that is going to be all for today's video. Number one, let me th know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. After this video, I get done uploading and recording. You guys are be going are going to be getting a, another March Madness bracket or... I don't know. I may save it for tomorrow. However, though, that's where I'm going to end this video. Again, big, big announcement and huge thank you to Team War Ready for hooking me up. I'm communicating with those guys right now, or at the moment, trying to con communicate with them. They're going to hook me up with interviews for the players, maybe some media credentials as they play in Lexington, Kentucky for the basketball tournament. So, do not go anywhere. Hit that sub button so you guys don't miss out on any of the latest interviews, content. With that being said, I'm going to hop off. Go follow Twitter, Instagram. Link to that will be in the description as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.